Not sure if these are uniquely Austrian, but they're um, half normal, half chocolate muffins with a big splodge of chocolate goo in the middle as well. Probably awful for you, but I'm climbing a 3,000 metre mountain tomorrow, so I think I'll uh, let myself have this one and worry about it later. So in Austria and Slovenia they have a system of um, road tolls called a, a vignette system now which instead of um, toll booths like in the old days you get a little sticker that goes on the window with a microchip and uh, overhead gantries read it when you're on the motorway so if you don't have one it takes a picture of you and you get a fine and that, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't have one for either country. Uh, the reason is, uh, well you simply don't need one and you look at the, the sort of alpine roads, you have absolutely no business uh, being on the motorway on a motorbike round here. It's the, the, the alpine roads are just crazy, they're just twisty, just perfect biking. Um, territory with loads of sort of bike friendly pubs and cafes around and um, you know it takes longer but who cares it's the absolutely amazing riding so um, I've just been enjoying that for the last couple of days and it's fantastic um, did way too many motorway miles earlier on in the trip just to get some distance between um, England and the kind of places you could visit on a long weekend from work while you know if you're still working so now that's all all done um, more roads like this please they're uh, they're fantastic and um, I hope to find many more over the next few weeks at Bohin Lake um, which is just down there. Um, I'm going to walk firstly to the Triglau Lakes Valley and then hopefully to the summit of Triglau which is about 2,800 meters. Uh, it's highest point in Slovenia and pretty much the highest mountain trek I'll have ever done. Um, it's quite technical but apparently it's, um, it's not full-on ropes and uh, mountaineering equipment so it should be fine. It's just baking hot, it's 30 degrees again so hat and uh, long sleeves to avoid sunburn when you're out walking all day. Um, and there's just a long day's walking ahead so need to get going. Just one of the demotivating things with uh, something like this is um, you look round at the mountains that are all, all around us here and they're actually not even marked on the, the map as a peak, they're just the, uh, the little foothills you've got to get up first before the real stuff starts. Of course, I'm heading towards Triglav Lakes Valley, which is on this sign as three hours, 15 minutes to the uh, the hut there and uh, one hour, 45 to the Black Bay. Oh, I'll give it four hours, I reckon, for me uh, to take it steady. Well, this is a little uh, viewpoint of the Savitsa waterfall. That's the uh, runoff down the bottom. Let's see out the sun, that's the Triglav uh, sorry, that's the Bohin Valley. Around here to the waterfall down there. Whew. 
well, it's about 12 or 1300 meters up. It's uh, been exhausting, just a straight zigzagging path up a uh, cliff face all the way. Now we've got to these, this kind of height, we've got these little steel ropes and uh, footholds down there to go across the more difficult bits. So it's a case of holding on, sort of, oop, left foot first, one foot on, one hand on, and uh, make your way across and up this uh, bit of a gully. I don't know if we'll be able to zoom in enough, but on, oh, you can't really see. On top of that mountain is Vogel Ski Resort. There's a big uh, cable car goes up to a restaurant thing on top. Went snowboarding there a couple of years ago. And it's a damn sight easier getting the uh, cable car up than it is walking. Oh dear. Oh, so behind me there is the Black Lake, the first lake of the Triglav Lakes Valley. And it's a hell of a reward for about two and a half hours of straight uphill climbing. That's absolutely exhausting. So time for a drink, enjoy the, uh, the lake for a moment in the sun. And uh, it's about an hour and a half on over a bit easier terrain to the hopefully the first mountain hut of uh, the three that I'll stay in on this walk but um, oh, it's beautiful can't wait to see the other lakes time to move on from the black lake leave that behind just there there's a huge rock face running just around the top side of it but I think the path ahead is up there somewhere up these rocks and through those trees and hopefully on we go to the next uh, the next lake in the mountain hut. Just to get a bit of fairly level ground after all the insane up and up and up and up. So refreshing. It's a real uh, morale booster. It's good stuff. <sighs> Particularly as there's a uh, quite a bit of distance to do to the next hut. I think the first part of the walk's all been about gaining height, about 13, 1400 meters or something. And the next part's doing some distance, about four or five kilometers across little tracks like this, going to uh, the hut for the night. So I can enjoy this a bit more knowing there's not too many massive more climbs ahead. Cool, so it's six o'clock now, had some food, feeling better for that, and um, got some accommodation booked in the hut behind me, got a little room, which is perfect. Um, but more importantly, got my beer, and I've got quite a hell of a view in which to enjoy it. There's, um, this is called the Double Lakes. There's a lake here and a lake behind the hut. We've got a massive range of hills over that side, hut behind and there's probably half a dozen people staying here tonight and um, it's so peaceful there's just no sound apart from the birds and um, a couple of flies whizzing around it's just absolutely perfect